Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain Television with Samar Arjawi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Court has announced that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was admitted yesterday to hospital to undergo some medical checkups, which were very assuring and successful. The court prayed to Allah Almighty to bestow continuous good health on His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to continue the steady progress for development for Bahrain and its people. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honored the winners of the season opening endurance race. In the attendance of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletic Association and Leader of Al Khaldiya Stables, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Brief President Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa also participated in the presentation ceremony along with the brief endurance committee head, Sheikh Taish bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for the winners, stressing that the levels provided by the riders and stables in the race highlight the intensive preparations for the sport of endurance in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which has superior care by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness also hailed the positive results of the Royal Equestrian Team, which reflects the riders' keenness to achieve the best results in this competition. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khaled underlined the intensive competition between all participants of the race and hailed His Majesty the King's remarkable support to the equestrian sport in the kingdom. Under the patronage of the President of the Arabian Gulf University, Dr. Khaled al Ohali, and in the presence of the leading local, regional and global health officials, the ninth scientific conference kicked off its activities at the Princess al Jauhara Center for Molecular Medicine. This year's conference aims to set the path for the establishment of the Bahrain Genome Project. Hamad al-Shaban has more details in this report. Global experts in the field of medicine and genetics convened at the Al Jauhara Center for Molecular Medicine on Saturday morning to kickstart the process of establishing the Bahrain Genome Project. This comes as the center hosts the ninth scientific conference to build on the experiences of regional and global genetic centers. We invited uh, different experts from different parts of the world. Uh, we have people from Japan, from the United States, from Europe, Australia to participate in developing the uh, uh, first genome map for Bahrain. We, in this conference, we are going to put the basis for developing the genome map for Bahrain. This is special. Genomics has impacted the course of medicine during the past two decades. The field involves mapping out the genetic basis of prevalent diseases in the population with the aim of personalizing therapy. Now, after the human genome era, when they have sequenced the whole DNA for the human being, this has become very important because a lot of uh, disorders are related to abnormalities in the sequence of the DNA. So it is the first step towards personalizing the treatment, the diagnostics, the prevention of diseases, and this will help the public health a lot. It will reduce the costs 
of treatment and uh, give better care. It's important because, first of all, we'd like to start the Bahrain Genome Project here. Um, we, we don't have it at the moment. They start, started it in different um, countries in the world, um, like I said, in Japan, in the US, in UK, in Australia, in Saudi, and in Qatar. So hopefully um, we're going to be next. Geneticists believe investing in the Bahraini Genome Project would help establish effective and safe individualized health care, which is expected to yield better results. Well, genetics by definition means diversity, and every country, every region really needs to understand their own genetics if they're going to implement it in proper med medical care. So learning from other groups from around the world, I think we've got a lot of new technologies, and coming to Bahrain, uh, it's a unique population. Uh, we're all going to share ideas and, and the technologies to come together to make the project more successful. Saturday's conference is a major step for Bahrain to join the genomic wagon as it upholds its standards of optimal health care. Bringing international genetic experts, that's what medical professionals are doing here today as they pave the way for the future of therapeutic medicine in Bahrain. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News.